What's up all you tat daddies? We are gonna be talking about meaningful tattoos and some of the biggest mistakes I see when someone's picking an idea and they're like, this needs to have all the meaning in the world. Let's talk about it. But before we do, let's talk about this beetle that's going on this dude's leg. It actually does have some meaning and I thought it would be the perfect tattoo to talk about while talking about this subject. Now, do all tattoos have to have meaning? Absolutely not. This is like one of the biggest scams ever told by tattoo TV shows, whether it was like Miami Ink or Ink Master, they always harp on like how meaningful this tattoo is for the person getting it. And just honestly, it kind of ruins the best part about getting tattooed. Getting tattoos can be meaningful. I don't disagree with that. They should be sometimes. Like I have plenty of meaningful tattoos, but what's more important than the meaning of a tattoo is the artwork and the image. So this is the biggest mistake people make, especially when they're when they're new into tattooing. Every tattoo has to have meaning. So they like pile in a bunch of crap that doesn't really even represent someone, but they say it does. This is pretty common. Like someone's like, I love this person. What can I get to represent them? So they throw in a million different ideas and they get this like small thing with like a four leaf clover and lock it, these lyrics and all this crap. And then what you end up with is a tattoo that's just not that good. And the reason is you're trying to fit something to have meaning rather than just seeing something that has meaning by itself. Like something meaningful for me that would make a great tattoo to represent someone like my mom is like a thimble. Right? She was in the fashion industry her whole life. She's really into that world. A thimble is perfect. I don't need a thimble with her favorite lyrics. And the one time she took me to the zoo and I saw an alligator, like I don't need all this crap. Just one simple thing to represent the love I have for that person. Not only do they stuff a bunch of stuff into an image and say it represents someone, but they pick kind of just ugly things that represent someone. And you know, these ugly things tend to be like a drawing or something like that. And they say like, oh, this person made the drawing or they, or they had a t-shirt with this thing on it. And they end up getting these tattoos that aren't really meant to be tattoos. They're meant to be pieces of art or pieces of clothing or something along those lines. And they end up with these things that just don't look good as tattoos. And that's why like you see things like a mom heart or a sparrow that says, mom and dad or forever love or whatever because these images are strong and they and rather than trying to fit an image that doesn't belong as a tattoo it's a tattoo that fits the person you're trying to represent so be cautious when you're picking meaningful tattoos because what's absolutely most important is that the image looks good as a tattoo nothing is worse than having a meaningful tattoo that looks like crap so there you go. Make sure you like, subscribe. We're trying to beat Ink Master, so we got like 4 million subs to go. Thank you, bye.